Good morning, everyone. Adam here from Eco Explorers. Hi, kids. So, um, earlier in the week, I taught you a knot which we use to make a, a rope swing. I hope you all had a chance to make one. Um, and the other, just the other day, I took you on a bit of a walk on my property here up in King Lake, where we discovered some wombat poo. Does anyone remember what shape that wombat poo was? And we even found a wombat burrow. Um, if anyone's had the chance to have a look at these amazing cards of ours that Haley has designed for us. Now it talks about a wombats and about building your own little cubby, just like a wombat burrow. So I thought today I'd uh, get you all out to maybe build your own little cubby for the little ones maybe. You could even, you could even put a blanket over a table or some chairs, just like this one here. And for the older kids, I thought I'd teach you another little knot called a clove hitch. Some of you may have already done this one before or know it. And uh, we're going to put together a, a TP style kind of cubby. So what we're going to need, we're going to need three sticks. Preferably oh, something like this one or anything. You could use a bit of timber that mum or dad might have in the backyard as well. But we need three. Um, preferably, you know, about as high as mum or dad, just to make you, just to give you a bit more room there. Okay. Now what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to post a uh, picture, some instructions of a clove hitch knot, um, actually right here. And then what we're going to do, we're going to do our clove hitch. We're going to take one of our poles, we're going to do our clove hitch on here, and put the shorter end over the branch. Wrap it around. It's probably going to be hard for you to see in this video here, but you can follow the instructions anyway. And then we're going to take our little knot up through there, up through the hole, and pull it tight. Well, you might just want to tie what some of the families like to say uh, a normal knot, just to tie that, just to tie that one rope on there. And then all you have to do is take your other two poles. Put them together like that. Just put all three together. And then you're just going to wrap around and around. Just try and do it nice and tight so it all stays together. Keep wrapping around and around. And then tie an overhand knot, or uh, some people like to say a normal knot. A little bit like your shoelace. Make a little loop and then Put the end through the hole there and pull it tight. Just do two of those so it locks it in nice and tight. Then pull down tight. Make a loop, tuck it through, and there we go. All right, now, should look something like that. Just literally just all tied together nice and tight. Then all you have to do, which is the fun part, is, I'm gonna move back a bit, is literally just stretch your poles out. Just like that, if you can see. And then go and ask mum or dad really nicely and get a really large sheet and throw it over the top and yours might end up look, looking something like this one here. All right, I'd love to see some, um, some pictures posted below um, of your cubbies, whether it's inside or outside. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.